Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and in today's video, I'll show you how you can block attachment file types in Power Automate approvals. And this truly is a hidden gem that is buried deep inside your environment admin settings, and I'll show you how to go ahead and get there. But the hidden gem is because in your email notifications, which comes in as an approval, right at that point, you can go ahead and block which file types you should and should not see because your data source might allow that, but we want to block it at the Power Automate approval level. And this also helps with your email notifications to be secure. So stick around, this is very important. But first, here's my intro video. So in this scenario, I'm using a SharePoint list as, as a data source just to prove a point that regardless of what the data source and what the data source does or does not allow, you can go ahead and block that file type directly at the power automate approval level. That's the level of granular security that you can go and put in. Because remember, like I said, uh, if you go and do the approval flow, it also goes and sends an email notification with the attachment. So when you go ahead and do this granular level permission, it actually even saves you and adds more granular permission in your email notifications. So my SharePoint list is very simple and straightforward. It has just got a few columns over here. And also I've got a few attachments listed. The best way to see this is actually the Power Apps Canvas app that I have. So in my Power Apps Canvas app, making sure that I'm in a very specific environment, I click on testing the blocking of the attachments. And again, over here, basically this is just a gallery. This is a gallery inside the gallery. So I can now see that, okay, for these items, you know, the three that I showed in the SharePoint list, those are the exact three items that are coming in. Some of them have three attachments. The other ones are four attachments. Just a much better way to go and see that directly inside the Canvas app. Now, in the back end of this, when I go ahead and say add an item with the attachment, a Power Automate flow gets triggered. So this is a flow that I already have. It's called the test block files in approval basically for this video. So when I go and click on it, you will see that sometimes it has been successful, sometimes it has been failed. I'll show you what that is. And when I go and click on edit, click on the edit designer, you will actually see a few actions or steps which are here. So first of all, when an item is created, that's the trigger, right? This is a SharePoint list item. After that, I go ahead and actually get the attachments of that item type. But then I go ahead and now do a power automate approval flow. And the approval flow is pretty simple and straightforward. It is of a type approval. I go ahead and put in the title, assign to, details, and then below over here in the advanced options, I'm also going and sending the attachments name and the attachments content. This is all happening inside the approval. So right now, without making any changes to that environment security setting, that hidden gem, let's go and actually put in a new item and just see how that works. So if I go and click on plus, all right, and I'll go and say live demo number one, I'll just randomly create some category. I'll click on attachment. And what I'm gonna do is just for the sake of simplicity, I'm using a CSV file. Cause just, just assume that that CSV file also could be malicious in some way. So I'm just gonna select that CSV file, click on open. I'll go and click on save, clicking on save. Let's go to the SharePoint list. I'll go and refresh it. I'll go and see, oh yeah, a new item has come in. You can see those asterisks type of thing. Uh, there's a new item coming in. And now any second, we should actually have a power automate flow coming in, all right? So I'll go ahead and now do a refresh. And there you go. The flow is actually running. It only ran two seconds ago. It is currently in running. Um, I already got in my phone a notification for the approval that's coming in. But what we'll do is we'll actually come up in the power automate, click on approvals. And in the approvals right over there, see live demo one, it was just sent 14 seconds ago. That's the approvals that has kicked in. So when no setting changes happen, everything just goes through smoothly. Now I want to show you is how you can add that additional security step. And for that, you at least need to have the Power Platform admin level security of your environment. So it's best that you are system administrator access level of your environment. Best would also be if you just have the Power Platform admin role, but at least, at least have it for your environment level. So I'm going to go to my Power Platform admin center. I'm going to click on the environments. In my environment, make sure you go to the environment where you actually have your uh, flow running over here, the Power Automate approvals. My environment name is called Model Driven Stuff. So I go now into my environments and I quickly do a search over here for model driven stuff right there. Model driven stuff. Got it. And that's the approval that's coming. Um, so I'll click on the model driven stuff. And now we got to go on settings. Now in the settings, you want to click on this drop down for the product. Click on the product and right over here, privacy plus security. 
that's the hidden gem you want to click on. So in privacy and security, right over here is called as blocked attachments. And it says block these file extensions. Now, I'll be fully honest with you. When I first came in a way and I read it, I actually have thought that this would block it directly for any type of thing. So if I say, had that Power Apps attachment, right, in the Power Apps Canvas app, if I go and click over here, if I go and add an attachment, it will actually block it at that level. That was my misunderstanding. Now, after I did some testing and investigating, I actually came across a Microsoft documentation right over here. And this is where it tells me that that restrictions that you add inside your environment setting, it is a attachment file type restriction, very specifically for the approvals. That's the only place it actually goes ahead and does that. So let's test it, all right? So I'm gonna come back now, I'm gonna go outside over here, and you've gotta make sure that you just basically go ahead and put in the semicolon, and then whatever is the file extension that you want. So remember, the one that we just tested was CSV. That's the one that we're gonna do. So I'm gonna click on the semicolon, and then I'm gonna go and type in CSV right there, okay? Then I'll go and click on Save, and then that's basically all I have to do. I don't have to go outside or anything. I can stay right over here, and now let's go ahead and I'll replicate that exact same scenario that we did. So I'm gonna go back to my actual Canvas app. I'm gonna click on plus, and now I'm gonna say live demo number two. So I'll go live demo number two. And this time I'll just go and select a work. I'll go and put the exact same attachment, which is countries.csv. I'll click on open and I'll click on save. It is going and saving the item. Again, live demo number two, it has saved it. Just to prove it, I'll come back to our SharePoint list and there you go, live demo number two is saved. If I click on the SharePoint list itself, you see that the data source, which is SharePoint, has allowed the use of the CSV file or the upload of the CSV file. But what I'm gonna do now is go into our Power Automate, go to my flows, actually go to the flow that I just showed you. I'll select over here and over here, you can actually see that this one is still running. Now, this is the first one because I didn't approve it, but the brand new one five seconds ago, that's the one that I just did, that live demo too. And if I go and click on it, any second now, it'll be failed. In fact, there you go, it already went and say, flow run failed. Now, if I move to the right, it says there's an error in your flow preventing the creation of approvals. Use the link below to learn more, blah, 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 okay. All right, I'm gonna get that. Not very helpful, but at least it's telling me that there is some error. The real information was actually in that final step. So if I go and click on apply to each, and if I go and expand over here, right over here, it tells me the request failed, error code, whatever, and it says attachment file extension is blocked. So it is literally blocked. It says, please contact the admin if change need to be made to the block thing. So it's basically telling me that, no, no, it wasn't an error of some kind where something didn't make sense. No, the attachment file extension, which in our case is a CSV, that has been blocked. So what we could do as a final test is go back into that same environment level setting. Go ahead and now remove it, all right? I'll make sure I remove up till the last semicolon. Click on save. And now I'll go ahead and create another item. So let's go back to the same one. Okay, I'll go and now say live demo number three, whatever randomly I'll pick an attachment uh, category, click the attachment, let's create the same CSV one, click on open, save it. And now that it's saved, this is our live demo three. It's showing up as the attachment is yes. I go back to my SharePoint list. I'll just go and refresh it. There you go, the number three came in. Click on it, you will actually see that the item is over here. But if everything works well, the flow this time should trigger off and you should actually see an approval come in. Now, this will be the third one, right? So the first one, which was six minutes ago, is still running because it's an approval. The second one failed because of our environment level setting. If I go ahead and now refresh it, the next one is running. It's already running just six seconds ago. That's the brand new one that has come in. And in this case now, the very fact that it came in and it hasn't failed, which means that now it did not notice that CSV file anymore because we removed that from an extension list. And if I go to the approvals over here, you will actually see the next one is coming in. So even before the approval could actually come in your approval pending list, it always goes and does that check. What is the file type? And now I've successfully shown you how you can go block it and unblock it. So now do you see why I call this as a hidden gem? Because it really is hidden and buried inside the privacy and security setting of an environment level. But in a simple click, you can go ahead and actually add an extension and that approval flows immediately goes and gets blocked. And then you can go ahead and remove it and the approval flows just start working. 
it is such an important tool that you need to be aware of because for the emphasis that I say that the data source might actually allow the file type, but Power Automate approvals could add that granular level permission to block that file type. And because we've blocked it at the Power Automate approvals level, you are adding that extra source of security in your email notification system as well. So hopefully this video was useful to you. And as always, keep using Power Automate flows. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go ahead and put in a comment, either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.